Well, hello, everybody at St. Paul's. I'm Father Jim Cervello. I am the new rector of the Church of the Ascension here in Clearwater and literally uh, just got started this first week. Um, I come from Orlando, Florida, ironically from a church called Church of the Ascension Orlando. Yes, God does have a sense of humor. And I so look forward to getting to know the community at St. Paul's and uh, for us to be a, a pastoral presence and a resource uh, for you and for your families as you uh, grow and uh, learn to walk with, uh, with Jesus. Um, I'm a Floridian. I love the beach. My wife and I, that's our, our happy place. Uh, grew up on the East Coast. In my younger days, I used to, to surf up and down uh, coast. Beach and Satellite and uh, lived in Melbourne, lived in Daytona, and again, like I said, I've lived in Orlando. We have two sons and a grandson that is five years old. Uh, my first Sunday uh, will be the seventh and I uh, look forward to, to beginning to get to know everybody here at the church. And so I hear that we do uh, a little reflection uh, for the school once a week. And this coming uh, Sunday is uh, the story about Jesus healing Peter's mother-in-law and the effect that that had on everybody in the town. Uh, you see, Jesus was busy teaching and uh, Simon Peter, uh, Peter was the one that ended up uh, walking on water. So he invited him into the house to come to find out that uh, his mother-in-law had a fever and was sick. And Jesus went and prayed for her and miraculously she was healed and got up immediately and started making dinner for everybody. I always like to tease that uh, she must have been Italian. I'm Italian. That's what Italian mother-in-laws do. They get up and they cook for everybody. Uh, but the effect that Jesus' healing has, the effect of his love and his grace, went through the entire town. And before you knew it, people were bringing uh, sick people, wounded people, uh, hurt people emotionally to him, and he healed them and brought them to wholeness because, you know, that's what Jesus does. He meets us where we are, no matter what our past is, and he brings us uh, to a new place of, of redemption and renewal, and that's the beauty of of uh, who Jesus is in our life. And so this is what happens when we begin to reach out uh, in love and care and grace for other people. Again, no matter what age you are, whether you're preschool, kindergarten, elementary school, middle school, or older, um, there's always an opportunity for us to, uh, to act in care instead of just self-preservation, to look out for others, to love others, and to meet them where they are because we all have to walk this journey of life uh, as we grow and learn. So uh, that's our lesson from Jesus as he and the disciples begin to bring the good news of salvation to uh, uh, all the friends, all the neighbors, and all the people in the area who uh, heard about the healing and came to find more. And Jesus always has more for us. So I uh, hope that helps you this coming week. We hope everybody's staying safe and, and dealing with COVID in the best way that you can. And I so look to meet you in person someday and uh, to be on the property and, and get to know you as Father Jim. So come and visit us at the church. Uh, come and, uh, and say hi. We look forward to having a long time here uh, and in Clearwater and making this our new home. So God bless you. God's peace be with you. And I hope to see you personally really soon. Take care and see ya.